This better fucking work. This is so fucking stupid. Hold on. I don't even know if this is working. Somebody. Oh, somebody come on here and tell me that you can fucking hear me. Or have I let you down too many times? Do, 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 do. Still can't hear me. You can hear me? Holy fucking shit. I done fixed it. At. Look at me. I'm nowhere near a professional. However, I had like this whole fucking setup. I was in such a great mood after listening to my marching band version of party rock anthem. Um, hopefully you're still in a good mood <laughs> after I've let you fucking down. Greta. Holy shit. Let me say hi to everybody again real quick. Like I'm such an asshole. I don't do this shit on purpose either, guys. Like, seriously. Hi, WB slash H, Machu Picchu, Kitty Velociraptor, Duchess, Bee's Knees, La Senorita, 87 Problems, <laughs> Lawrence Burn Phone. Hello, Precious, Lunar Fly Trap, Kelly Slime Bucket, Witch Lady, Page Master, Gay Mangoes, Dark Knight, Bee's Knees, Sean French. I hope I'm not missing anyone. Bitter Almonds, Dan's Cubes, Schmuckamuck, Dupee's Fashion Consultant, Do 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 Do. Hi, Vipa, G v is that Vipa, Vipa, GTS? Don't make fun of me. I don't know what I'm doing. Hi, Hoser. Dana Velez, bonjour. Hi, Kevin. I thought, ah. Amazing how the queen comes back the moment I decide to have a TCAP hiatus. She says, nope, come back here. Hi, Hi, Briquette. Thank you. I was thinking about you. Yeah, I figured it's almost Lauren. I got to get back in the swing here. Um, I didn't mean to take a break. That's usually what happens. Um, but it just kind of, life just kind of really got in the way of me and you and our making fun of pedophiles, uh, sadly. But things are looking up for old BAPs. Um, I've heard there's a lot of shit going on in the community. I'm not really going to talk about that, mainly because I don't really know most of it. Uh, Kayla tells me some of this shit, but it's really fucked up. The fucked up, fucked up, fucked up shit. Hi, Omega. Sub to Euro. Um, the Iron Throne and Crown. Thank you, 87 Problems. I love people that um, use Lorne speak, like spell things like Lorne. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to take a break. I never meant to do it. It just kind of happened. <laughs> Nothing new, really, in my life. I am going to tell you, not a joke. Um, I got a job interview on Monday. <laughs> so I'm very, very excited about that. You know, my daughter loves me so much, but she knows me. She was like, she texted me like, is your microphone on mute? Like, I'm not going <laughs> to do 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 <laughs> that's fucking stupid all right so i don't really have a plan or uh any preparation um what i'd really like to do is read some really bizarre shit that i found such a tease yeah i'm such a tease thank you jr it's nice to be back i hope everybody's doing well um yeah like i like i said i think maybe next week i'll set up like a we'll do like a call in i know i said I, i've been saying i'll do one for a while but um i really like to do like a call in show again that was really fun um <clears throat> you know as long as nobody like well i'm not even going to talk about that somebody took like a lot of time last time and like tried to make it into like a rush limbaugh kind of <laughs> show and i wanted to kill myself but um it's a bit of hyperbole. Uh, we're going to read some like shitty erotic fiction. And um, Bats wanted to be on mute to hear our conversation. That's because that's the kind of person I am, Page Master. Hi, Ilrig FBI. I hope Batsby doesn't get the job. Things will be a lot better for us if she doesn't get the job. Hi, you Super J. It's nice, it's nice to be here again. Oh, and it's nice that you all can fucking actually hear me. Did you stop having, oh, no, you know, Eel Rig, Cyber Squeak did not help me um, for once. So let's find our erotic fiction. 
so while I was Googling the words bad erotic fiction, um, a certain, I don't know if it's a book or a story kept popping back up into the mix, as it were. And I started reading it and I said, well, I can't find this whole book, but there's a couple pages that are really interesting that people have posted over and over again. So we're going to read that together. I haven't read this whole thing, but <sighs> I've been listening to Alien Love Slaves. That's something I got to get into. Oh, I got to change my name since BAPS is streaming. <laughs> One question wouldn't hurt, would it? Are you doing your daily chat log readings this year for Lauren? William, that's my plan. That's why I said I got to stop being so fucking selfish and share myself with all of you so I can get, you know, back in the swing of things for the readings this year. Um, next week, I'll, I'll, I'll put something on the community tab about when we'll do the call-in show and I'll get... Uh, my calendar out so I can start taking reservations. I don't know how to put this shit. It's so stupid. It's dumb. I love it that we do it every year, but it's just so fucking dumb. <sighs> I knew this day was missing something, and lo and behold, a Baspy stream appears. Love seeing you back. Thank you, David Bowie. I like seeing you, too. I was listening to some of your songs today. Laurent 2022, their cocks are huge and green. I have to check that out. Hi, Pussy Destroyer. It's so nice to see you. Yeah, it's like a month away. I'm very excited. Yay. I like doing it, but it really, it really takes a lot. It really fucking takes a lot out of me. Um, but it's fun. And, and really, it, it only takes a lot out of me because it's like I, I'm, I have to do it every day. So here we go. <sighs> and I'm going to mention, like, Nicholas has been with his dad all summer and I've just been kind of bummed. So let's cheer. Let's at least cheer me up with the petals fall twice. I don't know if this is a thing that's been around for a while, but this is really popular with weirdos, it seems. Um, so here's what I found. And there's some other shit I'm going to read. If I don't read with Babsby, my life will be worthless. Also, if I do read with Babsby, my life will be worthless. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to eat mac and cheese and do all kinds of stupid shit like that. Hopefully I get this job for my job interview on Monday. Then I can be like the um, principal of the dental school or whatever. Where what am I, What's my pretend job now? Oh, I'm already the principal of the dental school. Then I'll be like the um, superintendent of dental schools. Um, <clears throat> so this you know, you, you don't want another oh, guy to come on you. Sorry about that. Braydon donated $5. Is the doctor still fucking there? So glad to hear from you, Babs. <laughs> thank you. I'm sorry that's so loud, guys. I didn't test anything. But thank you, Braden. I appreciate that. The doctor is here and he's touching my fucking knee. I'll tell you what. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to fix that right now. Right now. You guys know what you're getting. You guys know what to expect with me. Oh, God. I got to log in. Oh, hang on. Let me figure it. Got to log in. Don't mess with Babsby. Yeah. Get down. FBI, get down. Oh, my God. Hold on, guys. You guys, like I said, you already know what you're getting with me. Let me turn that down just a bit. Sorry about that. Donations. I appreciate the donation. Thank you. Yeah, we're, oh, whew, that is loud. There we go. Hopefully that won't be as loud this time. Appreciate the donation. Thank you very much. Sorry about um, all the shitty, like, you can't hear me, and then the really loud alert, and the really boring shit that I'm about to do. Sheriff's office, get down! Oh. All right. Yeah, it's a bath stream. Takes three tries to get it started. The volume's fucked up. The password is printer. <laughs> Yeah, by the time you get to the final week or 10 days, you just want to strangle him. It's soul killing. All right. Let's start with the petals fall twice. She's so, I'm going to try to sound sexy. You ready? This is really dumb. Thank you. Hi, girl. It's fun. Okay. 
I just sliced my first ripe Cherokee purple tomato. It's the best ever. It's Lake Ambrosia. I grew so many fucking tomatoes this year. All right, enough. She slowly licked and tickled his peeny. <laughs> peeny pee. P E E N Y. She slowly licked and tickled his peeny. And because she was so smart, combined the words in her head like an expression explorer of old. So, I don't know how <laughs> slicked, she thought. I'm slicking his peeny. I'm so sorry, God. I'm so sorry. Put your hands behind your back, partner. I should read this at my job interview. No matter how brilliant her wordplay, the result was the same. Gary's peenie was now erect. I'm really trying to read this seriously. This is really ridiculous. No matter how brilliant her wordplay, the result was the same. Gary's peenie was now erect. It felt like a quality bar of peeny scented soap in her hands. Without warning, she gave it a swift headbutt. Because men like that. All men like that. This can't be real, right? This is a joke. This can't be a real book. Somebody tell me. <laughs> I hope they ask questions about peenies. It felt like a quality bar of peeny scented soap in her hands. Whoa. Wordplay is peeny. How long before this turns into Lauren reading it? Would y'all rather have Lauren read it? Yeah. Worse. Bleach scented soap. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Whoa. Melinda. That's the good stuff. All right. All right. Here comes Lauren. That's the, that's the good stuff. It's just going to happen, guys. I can't make it happen. That's the stuff that makes me forget about my problems. <laughs> I am not. I am not Mr. Peeny. Yes. Yes. That's the good stuff. That's the stuff that makes me forget about my problems. Melissa derives satisfaction from this comment. Despite the mangled pronunciation of a name, she could feel her horny levels rising to 30%, and her hoo-ha was getting right slimy with anticipation of participation. Come on, this can't be real. <laughs> oh, get back to work. <sighs> oh, my God. Yeah, it does sound like an erotic story written by Lauren. I have to say, um, I don't know if this is a real book or not, but this... I. I this popped, this popped up, winky winky, this popped up a lot whenever I was searching bad erotic fiction. Her hoo-ha got slimy, your slimy hoo-ha. Let me see that peeny, and I'm going to show you my slimy hoo-ha. <laughs> and we're going to wash each other with peeny scented soap. Quality, a quality bar of peeny scented soap. All right, that needs another read. <clears throat> I'm going to go back to, whoa, Melinda. Oh, Melinda, that's the good stuff. That's the stuff that makes me forget about my problems. Melissa derived satisfaction from this comment. Despite the mangled pronunciation of her name, she could feel her horny levels rise into 30%, and her hoo-ha was getting right slimy with anticipation of participation. I don't know if he would know those long words. I thought alcohol made Lauren forget about his problems. A vegan breakfast will await. That will never not be the greatest thing ever written. A vegan, when at last we awake, a vegan breakfast will await. We'll make love in the shower all over again with peony scented soap. Oh, the moistening. This is the least sexual thing put in the world since the Nuremberg trials. <laughs> This has to be a joke. I mean, this absolutely has to be a joke. <laughs> some Hi, some jealous basement dweller. I've noticed a lot of people have dipped since I started reading this. I don't blame them. Melinda has slimy stuff on her hoo-ha. She needs a doctor. Yeah, I don't blame you. If you want to dip, I don't blame you at all. 
<gasps> okay. Gary, me need sex now inside, please. Damn, Melissa thought. I wish there was a better way to say that. This has to be a joke. This has to be a joke, Gary and Melissa. This... It's either a joke or it's um, not fiction. It's It really happened. It's either a complete joke or someone's writing something that actually happened. No one would think this up. This is not a fucking joke. Oh, this is less sexy than 9-11, but more sexy than IBS. <laughs> Hi, Michael. I'm reading something called The Petals Fall Twice. I don't know if this is real, but it... it I was searching bad erotic fiction and it kept coming up, so... We're talking about slimy hoo-hahs and peeny-scented peeny soap and... Gary, me needs sex now. Inside, please. Damn, Melissa thought. I wish there was a better way to say that. Um... Yeah, this has got to be a joke, right? <sighs> Does Little Red Riding Good make an appearance in this? <laughs> well, this, you know what? The idea of this started when Kayla and I were having a conversation about something that I'm not going to talk about here. Um, about different fan fiction and things like that. Um. <laughs> Gary was only too eager to comply. He wrenched his peony away from Melissa's grubby paws. Come on, this isn't real. Damn it. I was really hoping this was real. But grubby paws got me. Out of everything, are petals codes for breets? The breets fall twice. Gary was only too eager to comply. He wrenched his peony away from Melissa's grubby paws and thrust inside a hoo-ha with a thunderous orgasm. I'm really disappointed. This can't be real. <laughs> Grubby paws. All right. Uh, do I say, um, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. <laughs> Keep your secrets. I'm going to start selling peony scented soap. That's going to be like my first merch that I sell. <laughs> Hi, Jason. <laughs> sorry to disappoint you. This is going to be terrible. I wish this were real, but it can't be. Um, she was pregnant, but that could be dealt with in the morning, provided she was still alive. Holy shit, I'm missing a lot in this story. She's pregnant, but that could be dealt with in the morning, provided she was still alive. I need to find the rest of this book. This is, a, this was a really stupid idea, but we're going to read the rest here. Out, out, <laughs> I told you, I, I told you the first time, right? My first failed live stream earlier with the little slideshow that I made. Get ready for an okay time. I didn't say get ready to be entertained. I didn't say get ready for miraculous, great entertainment. Get ready for an okay time. The Breeds Fall Twice by Lauren Lynn Armstrong, <laughs> provided she's still alive. Whew, okay. Outstanding stuff, Melanie, Gary chortled. I know I could just go to sleep now, but I would like to continue satisfying you, sans peeny. Gary nudged downward, and his peeny was nowhere to be seen. <sighs> what have what have you in mind? Eee! It, it literally says eee! Eee, 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 eee. Just sit back and relax, kitty cat. This is the dumbest thing. This is the dumbest thing I've ever read. And I've read that fucking chat log 800 times. Um, <clears throat> this is probably the dumbest thing I've ever read or done. Hi, Fox Stuff. This is less sexual than pulling the cord on a family member, but more sexual than sitting in L.A. traffic. <laughs> Melanie did just that. Falling back onto the bed, stretch stretching her perfect seven body. This is a joke. This is a joke. Bapsby's figured it out. I'm a, I'm a brilliant detective. Melissa did just that, falling back onto the bed and stretching her perfect seven body, eager for Gary's attention. He started working his magic immediately, and she felt an all-too-familiar heat rising from her breast. Gary was crouched over top and pooping all over her unbelievably average body. This is amazing, though. This is, this is pretty amazing. I don't know who wrote this. <laughs> okay. Holy.
holy shit. Thank you, Kayla. <laughs> Thank you, Kayla. Um, oh. Gary was crouched over top and pooping all over her unbelievably average body. Gary, so stinky. That's just the poop, baby. Let, let it just work its magic. I, I can't see anything. That's because you're blind now, Mildred. Now she's Mildred. And that's all I have for that one. How is a seven a perfect body? Wouldn't a 10 be perfect? <laughs> yeah, pooping. Poopy? Peeny nowhere to be seeny. <sighs> all right. Yeah, that's going to be really hard to clean up. I hope they have some peeny scented soap. All right. That's it for that. And that's um, the petals fall twice. That's somewhere on the interwebs. Um, I've been looking for it. But let's read some other excerpts. Let's find. Hold on. Give me a second because I got to find my. All right. From different books, there are excerpts. We're going to go through them and we'll see. Um, it's you. So you can poo unannounced on a seven or below. Yes, you can. You didn't know that? Yeah, and I don't know how her name became Mildred from Melissa, but whatever. Okay. <clears throat> this, this scene is from Scoundrels, The Hunts for Hands Clap. A comedic historial, his, historial, Jesus Christ, guys. I haven't done this in a while, so just bear with me. That's what I say every time I have sex. Anyway, a comedic historical fiction novel by Major Victor Cornwall and Major Arthur St. John Trevelyan. <clears throat> Empty my tanks. I begged breath breathlessly. Jesus Christ, guys. All right, here we go. Hi, Ghetto Prince 187. So much poop. Where's Ramona's diaper when you need him? I hope you all are ready for an average time. Ready? Empty my tanks, I begged breathlessly. As once more, she began drawing me deep inside her pleasure cave. Come on. This is a real book. Come on. This one's a real book. Empty my tanks, I begged breathlessly. As once more, she began drawing me deep inside her pleasure cave, her vaginal ratchet moved in concerta like waves slowly chugging my organ this is better than the last one slowly chugging my organ as a boa constrictor swallows its prey soon i was locked in balls deep ready to be ground down by the enameled pepper mill within her <laughs> pleasure cave it's lauren's septic business Pleasure Cave sounds like a sketchy arcade from the 80s. R, R. Kelly's doo-doo butter. All right. Rocket, rocket fuel forged can you win. Where's your Mildred lover? You win today. Your enamel pepper mill. When I open a comedy club one day, it's going to be called the enamel pepper mill. All right, we have Pleasure Cave, Vaginal Ratchet, Chugging My Organ, and Locked In Balls Deep, Ground Down by the Enamel Pepper Mill. Oh, sounds like a couple's only resort in the Poconos, Pleasure Cave. The Pleasure Cave. All right, <clears throat> forgive me if I mispronounce this name. Japanese writer Haruki Murakami Killing Commendatory <clears throat> My ejaculation was violent and repeated again and again semen poured from me over oh gross this is really gross overflowing her vagina turning the sheets sticky there was nothing I could do to make it stop. If I continued, I worried I would be completely emptied out. 
Yuzu slept deeply through it all without making a sound, her breathing even. So, oh my God. So it's rape too. That's okay. <laughs> while, while he's ejaculating violently, she's sleeping. Yeah, that, that started out really, really hard, didn't it? <clears throat> Yuzu slept deeply through it all without making a sound. Her breathing, her breathing even. Her sex, though, had contracted around mine and would not let go, as if it had an unshakable will of its own and was determined to wring every last drop from my body. That's really, that's really, yeah, that took a turn. What the fuck? One-stop shopping. It's your erotica one-stop shopping. I guess the enamel pepper mill is about her vagina. I have no fucking idea. Um, hi, Sean. You can't, uh, for the record, I came in here blind and starting hearing all of this insanity. I'm just reading like weird shit I found on the internet. I, I have not one original bone in my body. I don't write anything original. I just, you know, except for my shitty songs or poems, my poems. Every time I get scammed, I write a poem. A vegan breakfast will await. All right. That was pretty... It written... It was written better, but it was pretty awful. Um, give me one second. We're going to the next page. Katerina by James Fry. <clears throat> I guess this is a poem. I don't know. I'm hard and deep inside her, fucking her on the bathroom sink, her tight little black dress still on her thong on the floor. And there, there's no punctuation here. So let me try this again. Okay. Hi, dinner ring of downfall. Hi, hi, Michael. I didn't see you there. Hi. Hi, Patrick. I'm hard and deep inside her, fucking her on the bathroom sink, her tight little black dress still on her thong on the floor, my pants at my knees, our eyes locked, our hearts and souls and bodies locked. Come inside me. Come inside me. Come inside me. Oh boy, I hope somebody like fucking snips that out and uses it against me somewhere in my job interview on Monday. Blinding, breathless, shaking, overwhelming, exploding, white. God, I come inside her, my cock throbbing. We're both moaning, eyes, hearts, souls, bodies, one. One. White. God. Come. 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 I close my eyes, let out my breath. Come. Actually, better than anything Lauren's ever written. A vegan breakfast will await. It sounds like a Chinese finger trap. It's getting out in here. How come? It's very sexy. You're right, Michael. Passion has no time for punctuation. It sounds sounds very romantic. It's taken a while to get this vegan breakfast, though. And in a few more years, we'll do business again. All right. <clears throat> Connect by Jillian Goff. He drops the bra to the floor, looks up into her eyes, it's too much. Keep in mind, guys, I haven't read any of these before now. <clears throat> he kisses her chin, her mouth, and their tongues touch. Oh, too much. He slips his lips free with a soft suck. That sounds gross. Kissing's gross enough as it is. You don't have to make it sound grosser. Um, moves up to kiss her strong nose on one side, then the other. It's hard and soft at once. He moves back down till he is level with her breasts. So, am I supposed to be turned on by her soft, her hard, soft nose? This is like, okay. If some dude did that to me, like we're like kissing, and then he like sucks his lips free with a soft suck, and then starts kissing my nose. Yeah. Hi, Edamame. This is sexy, isn't it? Hi, Asbury Brad. There's a couple of legit authors on here. Um, they just wrote some weird, bad shit. <sighs> okay. Slurp, slurps her strong nose. It's very sexy. 
They're small, she says, surprisingly shy, apologetic. They're perfect, he says. He kisses them, teases a nipple with his lips. It's so soft. And then, suddenly hard. Wow. He sucks on the hard nipple. This is like Dr. Seuss wrote like a sexy novel. Wow, he sucks on the hard nipple. He has never done this before, and yet, no, wait, of course, it is totally familiar. The first thing he ever did, it's a sex. You know me, you know more than other guys, come on you. Braydon donated $10. Have to go to my job on the lull, but I'll be listening later. Better not be other stuff you're not telling me. Thank you, Braden. I'm sorry if that's still too loud, guys. I really did try. Thank you very much. You have to go to your job on the lull. Um, <laughs> trust me, there's nothing I'm not telling you, except the doctor kissing my nose to kiss a predator. Norton sees a nipple. <laughs> you know what? You super J, I can totally see like this being a Nathan down our joint. Like <laughs> if, if, if he continued. If he continued his um erotic fiction career. Whew. Okay. I'm sorry if that was still too loud. Give me a second. I don't know why that would, wouldn't. I saved it and everything. Let's turn it down just a little bit more. You guys know what to expect, though. You should really just blame yourselves. All right. <clears throat> Ready to continue? One clit, one cleat, two cleat, mega cleat cheating on me Jamie you know what I, I am going to tell you one thing I haven't listened to any Lorne stuff in like three months uh, like I said I'm kind of preparing for the Lorne overdose and I'm ready to jump back into it um, so uh, one of the reasons I want to do like this stupid call in thing next week is so that because I'm extraordinarily lazy, you guys can um, fill me in on all the new shit that's going on. So anyway, um, <clears throat> between the legs is ham. You guys are much more entertaining than I am. He feels the huge change in meaning its status. It is. Oh, I missed a. I missed a line. It ruins the whole thing. I'm sorry. The first thing he ever did. He feels the huge change in meaning its status. It is as though he had grown up in a single suck. Everything transformed. This is what happens when someone like tries to find meaning in shit that isn't really meaningful. Everything transformed and yet nothing has changed at all. He sucks at a nipple as he lies on a bed and it's 18 years later and he sucks at a nipple as he lies on a bed and his childhood falls away from him like a burned out booster stage from a rocket. It's fuel used up. He is now in orbit around a different planet. Jesus Christ, that's terrible. Yeah, Michael, I, I um, T-cap romance. Yeah, I heard there's like a lot of shit going on um, and it makes me a little sad. Uh, but we'll, right now we're going to use this time to have, I'm going to call this quote unquote fun. It depends on what your meaning of fun is. Um, <laughs> before we, um, talk about any of that stuff. Jesus Christ. Grace's Day by William Wall. You guys enjoying this? Cause this is terrible. <clears throat> He's almost weightless. When he enters me, it hurts, and my pain belongs to the subterranean world, primitive as the clay. Yeah, this is really just people trying to find meaning in, in I don't know, I guess, this is going to sound really stupid, but I'm no writer, and I guess if you're writing about sex, you want it, you know, you want it to have meaning. Although there's not always meaning in sex. Sometimes it's just sex. But I guess if you're writing for entertainment and people are reading this, but this is like people who are hoping to get like a Pulitzer Prize for writing about fucking. And it's terrible. Um, Ryan Gowan? Oh my God, dude. 
Okay. Did she expel dampness yet? <laughs> yeah, sadly, this is fun to us weirdos. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> He's almost weightless. When he enters me, it hurts, and my pain belongs to a sub the subterranean world, primitive as the clay. His body is slacker than I expected. A small paunch begins at his waist and settles in a downward parabola to his groin. <laughs> this is... This is... His pubic hair is red. What? I am so moist right now. He tunes in Tokyo and does slithering snake with his, with his tongue. This is fucking... Give me one second. I have to send a text message because he won't leave me alone. <laughs> I'm going to laugh while this is so stupid. <sighs> okay. Mm. Pilot to co-plot. Pilot, we're going down in flames. I need a sham. He, I'm sorry. I keep going back to he tunes in Tokyo and does the slithering snake with his tongue. Oh, I gotta start that again. I'm sorry. This the peeny talk. Oh. Okay. He's almost weightless. When he enters me, it hurts, and my pain belongs to the subterranean world, primitive as the clay. His body is slacker than I expected. Sounds hot. A small paunch begins at his waist and settles in a downward parabola. Parabola? Parabola? Maybe parabola. I'm not educated, guys. Come on. To his groin. His pubic hair is red. His erect penis is a surprise, although I had imagined what they would feel like, read about them, seen them represented on toilet walls and magazines. Like, I need to see what a dick looks like. Where's the nearest public restroom, guys? This is the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done right in the parabola. His broken baby bird was uneventful, to say the least. Hi, Lauren Identity. I love you so much, but I'm so embarrassed that you have to witness what I'm doing right now. When he enters me, right? There's, there's just so many gems in here. Hold on one second. I can't, I can't ever just live stream. Somebody has to interrupt me. All right, entertain yourselves for just a moment. Oh, share contact. Okay, there, call someone else. Okay, back to it, guys. Sorry about that. It's like a robin's egg stuck in a nest with a damn lover. This is awful. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I've resorted to reading erotic fiction. Hi, Jerry Anthony. So nice to see you. Yeah, fiction. This totally isn't my, these totally are not my own thoughts on, on Shaksh. I didn't see it before he entered me, but afterwards, it is small and sticky and amusing. All right, that part probably <laughs> is pretty well written. Small and sticky and amusing. I want to touch it, but I don't dare. I don't know the etiquette. He is 20 or more years older than me. This is sex. Jesus Christ. Of course, that's written by a dude. Come on. I don't mean to insult anybody, but come on. When he enters me. Even when I'm thinking about sex, Jeffrey, I'm playing tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. Cornville Commoner, you can definitely email me regarding a project. Um, hold on. I don't um, multitask well, so give me just a second. 
what are you listening to? Jesus Christ. Dick Hungwell. I'm so sorry about this. Um, I'm reading erotic fiction and it's really bad. It's really, it's really bad. It's poorly written. It's written. I'm suspecting anyone who's written any of this stuff has never had sex. Um, it's just really bad. And my favorite, I think the favorite thing I've read so far this afternoon is his pubic hair is red. I just imagine like flaming red pubic hair, which is great. I love that. Rod and Todd. We're going to do a business deal. Hi, Michael. Still better than taking a broad. April, I know. It makes me feel, makes me feel good about celibacy too. Okay. We got another one here. Hold on, guys. I go a little bit longer. I didn't have too much lined up for today. I just wanted to kind of tickle, tickle, T tickle, 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 tickle. I fucking love that call so much. Maybe we ought to do that later. Tickle, tickle. All right. The Good Old Days. The Paper Lovers by Gerard Woodward. <clears throat> the anatomy is actually correct. Lauren couldn't have written it. <laughs> Enamel pepper mill. Unless, you know what? Enamel pepper mill, maybe she was giving him a BJ. Maybe he wasn't in her, in her vagine. He was in her mouth. Tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, you needs to get up. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? He was aware that she was making a mewling sound as he put his lips to her tight nipple and sucked. Suck? You know what? Suck is like an, a really unsexy word. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I'm not into like, okay, people are into what, and people are into some things, man. I mean, you're into what you're into, but s why is suck a word that is injected into so many of these things I've read today? <sighs> Hi, Simon. Tell him I'm going to fucking kill him. God damn it, it's good to see you, Jerry Anthony. I can always count on you. Her mouth was at his ear, her tongue traveling along its grooves, voice filling it. His mouth tugged at her, extended her. She snapped back. There was a taste of something on his tongue. In his mind, he pictured her neck, her long neck, her swan's neck, her Alice in Wonderland neck coiling like a serpent like a serpent coiling down on him. All right, I think this guy like took some mushrooms or something. <laughs> she had found a way through his clothing and her fingers had lightly touched his cock, his cock, then slowly began to take a firmer hold. He wanted to cry like a baby. He felt helpless. This, maybe this is one. As though his body had come undone and she was fastening it. He felt as though he was bleeding somewhere. He felt powerful, gigantic. He would have kicked a door down. This is great. Lauren's tongue traveling across your taint. Yeah, if you're doing it right, it's not really sucking. I stumble, repent, repeat. He's gonna, when's he gonna throw it in ya? <laughs> I could write some, I could write some erotic fiction with Lornisms. That would be fun. We could do that. Holy shit, guys. I, I'm so sorry I, like, fucked this all up. <laughs> Fire crotch. What are we reading? I Jill Phil. Fafsby's reading some shitty erotic fiction. Let me see what else I got. I don't have too much else. I'm sorry. <laughs> Without warning, she gave his peenie a swift headbutt because men like that. I'm going to have to find... I'm going to have to find that book it's really it's got to be a joke but i still enjoy jokes let's see hold on let's click around and find something we'll go a little bit longer here if you guys can stand up hold on <clears throat> i found some more it's simon um it's just shitty erotic fiction i found online that's all that's all we're doing i'm reading stupid really stupid shit I mean, that's what I do every year around September and October, so I'm sort of getting myself um, wound up. 
<clears throat> Desert God by Wilbur Smith. Her hair was piled high, but when she shook her head, it came cascading down in a glowing wave over her shoulders and fell as far as her knees. This, that's long, that's long hair. This rippling curtain did not cover her breasts, which thrust their way through it like living creatures. They were perfect rounds, white as, Jesus Christ, where'd you go? There you go. Perfect rounds, white as mare's milk. Why mare's milk? Does, does this person think it sounds poetic, I guess? White as mare's milk. Look, motherfucker, get out of the way. Hold on. There's an ad in the way of what I'm trying to read. White as mare's milk and tipped with ruby nipples that puckered as my gaze passed, passed over them. Passed. I passed over them. This is terrible. Slurpent. Fire crotch. Tipped with ruby nipples that puckered as my gaze passed over them. Her bot, her body was hairless. Her pudenda. Her pudenda. That's great. Somebody had a thesaurus. How adorable. Her pudenda was also entirely devoid of hair. You know, like a, like a child, for Christ's sake. I don't get that. That's a conversation for another time, but I don't get that. Looks like a kid when you do that. That's gross. Grosh, um, the tips of her inner lips protruded shyly from the vertical cleft. They protruded shyly. This might be the best. The sweet dew of feminine arousal glistened upon them. Please enjoy. Please to be enjoying my sweet dew of feminine arousal. I hope you all are enjoying this. I, I am basically doing this for myself. Mares, no, M-A-R-E, not mayor. Like a horse, mayor's milk, not the mayor of Italy. Relaxing breeds and dewy feminine arousal. This is horrifying. Puckered. Okay. The City of Devi by Manil. Oh, come on. Hold on. I'm having issues. There we go. By Manil Suri. Keep in mind, please, I haven't read any of these. Surely supernovas explode that instant somewhere in some galaxy. The hut vanishes, and with it, the sea and the sands. Only Karun's body, locked with mine, remains. We streak like superheroes past suns and solar systems. We dive through shoals of quarks and atomic nuclei. In celebration of our breakthrough fourth star, stat statisticians the world over rejoice. What the fuck is that? I have to read it again. I'm sorry. Mayors. Mayors of Italy. No, not another teacup. Was you? Not another teacup romance. Yeah, I, I don't know. Tickle pea shivers. Um, if that person is a troublemaker, because I don't know who they are. And um, if I if you're not really that important to me, I don't really care. So if somebody's being a troublemaker, um, pew pew, please take care of it because I don't have time for it. We're too busy reading erotic fiction and it's really important that we do it. <laughs> the mayor of Italy stole $6,000 from me. Did you write them a poem? Took a long time to get that loan through. Do you know what, Nicholas, for a really long time after after that revelation, and we listened to that poem, when Patrick read that poem, we listened to that over and over again together, because that's family time. And for a while, like, every day, Nick would be like, it took a lot of time to make that cereal. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, thank you. Yeah, if somebody's like a, an ass face and starting 
problems and trouble. Um, just make them go away, please. I don't have time for it. All right. Infrared by Nancy Houston. Holy shit. I'm running everybody out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's so bad. Hi, Lauren Sisters, Muggled Leg. Yeah, apparently that person is like um, a troublemaker, so just make them go away, please. Uh, he runs his tongue and lips over my breasts, the back of my neck, my toes, my stomach, the countless treasures between my legs. How many treasures? Like, there's only a couple. Like, the countless treasures between my legs. Um, <laughs> there's only, let's see, how many clits do we have? There's only like, what, four clits? So it's not countless, you can count four. He runs his tongue and lips over my breasts, the back of my neck, my toes, my stomach, the countless treasures between my legs. Where did you go, bitch? Hold on. Oh, the sheer ecstasy of lips and tongues on genitals. <laughs> Either simultaneously or in alternation, never will I tire of that silver fluidity. My sex swimming in joy like a fish in water. What is wrong with the? <laughs> Thank you, Tickle. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. I did something wrong. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't mean to do that. Gay man goes, I'm so sorry. Give me a second. I was trying to do this. Pew pew. Oh, okay. All right, guys. One more. We'll do one more. <clears throat> Some guy wanting attention. Oh, okay. Two cleats. But there's only one hole for pee and peen. Yeah, you go. You go right in the pee hole. Oh yeah, right in my pee hole. <laughs> this is so bad. Sorry about that, gay mangoes. I hope I hope I made it up to you there. All right. <clears throat> Where do you find the map for the pleasure caves? Rocket fuel foreskin. I wish I knew. She took him by the. Oh, this is uh, Ed King by David Guderson. She took him by the wrist and moved the base of his hand into her pubic hair until his middle fingertip settled on the no man's land between her front parlor and back door. Those were the quaint, prudish terms of her girlhood. She got him on the node between neighboring needs, the front door, the front parlor, and back door, and the no man's land. And just for me, the word pubic hair is just like it's the least sexy thing ever. Yeah, let me see your pubes. Hey, hey everybody, let me see your pubes. No, Cyberspeak, you didn't miss any trouble. You, it's what you and I were talking about earlier. That's all. All right. <clears throat> all right, we'll do one more. I really hope you guys are enjoying this. The Shape of Her by Rowan Somerville. He grasped the side of her hips, pushed her away, and pulled her to him with a slap, again and again with more force and velocity. Is that tiny? I don't know. Tiny pressed her face deeper into the cushion, grunting into the foam at each thrust, the wet friction of her tight around him. The sight of her open, stretched around him, the cleft of her body. It tore a climax. <laughs> this is dumb. Tore a climax. Tore a climax out of him with a final lunge. Like a lepidopatrist mounting a tough-skinned insect with a too-blunt pin, he screwed himself into her. What the fuck is a lepidopatrist? A lepidopterist. Lepidopterist. Listen, if I don't, if I can't pronounce the word, I, you probably shouldn't be writing it. 
All right, I hope everybody's really horny. <clears throat> How many pubes did she have? Like a lepidopterist mounting a tough-skinned insect with a too blunt tip. Too blunt pin, he screwed himself into her. Is everybody super horny now? Hi, who's Brittany? Brittany? Who's Brittany? Brittany? Present. Okay. <clears throat> I hate to go. I really hate to go, guys, but um, we're going to wrap it up. I got to start slowly. I've been gone for a while. And um, I'm going to work out a schedule for next week. What did, which one do I want to do? You know what? This one's my favorite. I'm going to work out a schedule for some live streams and kind of get back in shape. How, how you want to uh, suck on Dan's cock? Stuff. How you want to feel Dan inside of you? Yeah, sexy. How Dan is so fucking great. Mm-hmm. How Dan yeah. can be illegal in all uh. states. Maybe you should see you all soon. I thank you all for joining me. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Fucking ugly, nice <laughs> Because you're the pedal man. That is a fucking man. 